Well, I think the purpose of today is a lot of us are grieving, a lot of us are mourning. Uh, we witnessed the fall of our country. I mean, our country fell right before we were born, like two years before I was born. The Taliban had captured Kabul in 1996 in a very brutal bloodshed. And this time it was a little bit different, where the government effectively collapsed and the entire nation fell to the hands of the Taliban within days. Um, we saw a very cowardice government in place, one that was funded and created by the West that could not sustain itself. Right? Um, entirely, it's due to regional forces, the United States most definitely. Uh, the Afghan people are simply victims of a proxy war. And there's no other way to describe it. Off, they have this government that's corrupt and made of warlords that, like I said, collapsed. I mean, it's been 45 years of innocent Afghans dying at the hands of other regional forces and terrorists. That's it. There are millions and millions of innocent Afghani people dying at the hands of the U.S., at the hands of the Taliban, at the hands of Pakistan. I want to see humanity from this world. I am tired. I am tired of hearing my family die. I am tired of the lives they are living. We cannot scream to sanction Pakistan every day because there are millions of Afghan refugees. <laughs> to sanction Pakistan, it's the unfortunate truth. I understand all the anger, I understand all the hatred. I'm right there next to you in that hatred for the Pakistan government. But we are screaming for the murders of our own people when we say to sanction Pakistan. One trillion dollars! One trillion dollars! One trillion dollars! For what? For what? 20 years of war! 20 years of war!